Hello everyone, hope you're all fit and well. This is Stephen Clark here and friends with another look at Thai news and surrounding Southeast Asia. First up, we have the Thailand Electricity Hub of Southeast Asia. The Striker defense car for Bangkok's army. They're going to use that in Bangkok. That'd be good getting through the traffic. A lotto winner and his court case that went on and on and on. 24 million baht worth. A Thai man claims he's 128 years old and has his Thai ID card to prove it. And a special report about a Thai airline. But first up, vaping in Thailand and how you will go to jail if you do that, even if you're a tourist. Hi there, Mark reporting for Talk Back Thailand. Um, this is about a story about uh, cigarette importer Philip Morris Trading. Basically, they, what they're asking to do, the policy makers in Thailand about tobacco industry is um, the, the tobacco giant is hoping the new government consider innovative smoke-free products, i.e. vaping. Um, I know uh, Philip Morris has been trying doing this for years, but um, hey-ho, they're having a real go now. Even though Thailand has banned vaping for several years, actually since um, 2014, Philip Morris is in serious as an expanding uh, part of the world and really wants to get into e-vaping. So far, the Thailand government has resisted it, uh, even though that Philip Morris has invested more than 1.8 trillion baht into developing smoke-free products, or heat and burn as they're, as they're known in the trade. Well, hopefully they'll get through and uh, we can all start vaping again, along with the hipsters. Thank, this is Mark reporting from Talkback Thailand. Thanks for that, Mark. And back on the vaping subject, tourists should not take this lightly. Five to ten years jail for vaping in Thailand. And the tourists are not immune. Vapors in Thailand who do vaping are worried about the Thailand's situation on the sport. More aggressive anti-vaporing policies have recently been put across the table and have been implemented. And it appears that the situation is only getting worse, with a lot of arrests and prison sentences handed out for those possessing or selling e-cigarette products. And the tourists visiting Thailand have also been warned against vaping. The Thai government has shown itself to be completely hostile towards e-cigarettes and e-smoking. Tourists have been strongly advised not to bring in e-cigarettes or vaping equipment into Thailand. Being caught with these devices can bring heavy fines or even jail sentences. And this includes tourists to the land of smiles. And understand one thing, it's 5 to 10 years jail for this offence. So don't forget, the anti-vaping policies in Thailand should not be taken lightly. Tourists can be fined or given lengthy jail sentences. So don't forget, don't bring any vaping stuff into Thailand or you'll be dragged through the streets and tarred and feathered. <laughs> Johnny Siam reporting. Yes, Thailand has made a push for the regional energy trading to become the power link of Southeast Asia with infrastructure upgrades and cross-border power trading from Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar and Malaysia. And whilst these high-scale projects are in place and underway, it has taken 60 years for your electricity to be put on to Ubon Rachintani village Sai Mang Mai. More than 200 families can now enjoy the delight of electricity with maybe computers, televisions and modern appliances. The one young girl said she can now do her homework without the light connected to a car battery. The wonders of science. Thank you. The Thai military spokesman, General Apparat, has announced that Thailand will receive 70 striker combat vehicles starting delivery next month till the end of the year. There was no mention to the value of the deal, but with the US treaty, a key supply to weapons to Thailand, such items as the Lockheed Martin F-16 jet fighter and the Black Hawk helicopter. In previous years, the deals with the US had cooled during the period of the Junta control. The Stryker armoured vehicle was first introduced or produced by General Dynamics in 2002 and proved itself in the Afghanistan and Middle Eastern conflicts. 
uh, able to stand up to IEDs and smaller weapons fire. There are two chassis of which gives 10 configurations for the striker. One of the most popular is to move troops of which it can have a capacity of nine troops and two crew members. These are normally have a remote machine guns of a 50 caliber and or 7.62. Also can be added is the 240 Mark 19 grenade launcher. Other configurations have the 1 5 main gun and or the 300 millimeter cannon both with missile guidance systems. The top speed of the striker is 100 kilometers per hour and it weighs in at 19 tonne. The strikers will be predominantly based around the Bangkok areas and I would say that during peak hour traffic they would be very handy. Okay Johnny out bye for now. Johnny so I am reporting do you believe in karma? Well the saga ended this week for retired police lieutenant Shah Roon. The court in Kanchaburi province returned 24 million Thai baht to him that had been frozen in his bank account. The retired policeman won first prize lottery totaling 30 million with a set of five tickets back in November 2017. One million baht was paid in tax and Mr Shah Roon spent another five million. Then a Mr Prehar filed a lawsuit claiming ownership the court said retired Lieutenant Charun was the legal owner as he had purchased the tickets from the Red City Market, a lottery vendor. So it just goes to show all good things come to those who wait. The Land of Smiles has done it again. This is like a Ripley's Believe It or Not. It's shown that a simple life can give us longevity. Mr On Pachompu claims he's 128 years old. His ID card shows he was born during the reign of Rama V, with his birth date April 9, 1891. Mr Om and his wife Song have seven children, 11 grandchildren, all living together in Nom Sombat, northeast Thailand. He said eating clean food and exercise was the secret to his long life, but added with regret all his friends have died, but he did hope to live to 200. He also said people have a wife that's 58 years younger than them. Now Wikipedia reports the oldest known living man is Gastoff Gurneth from Germany, aged 113 years and 316 days. Wow, makes us all seem young, doesn't it? Johnny out, thank you. Well, g'day guys, Thai Airways has been featuring very heavily in the news lately and they're in the middle of uh, major financial woes, getting reports that the uh, the airline needs new planes, some people are saying the uh, price of oil, the uh, jet fuel is upsetting the share price, they've got unhappy pilots causing delays, the airlines made a 11 billion baht loss this year, Our aircraft lease uh, costs are killing it and the airline transformation plans are all screwed up, well you know the share price is tanking what we're seeing is um, an ex-government airline. What executives love to call a, a legacy airline, uh, just as the, my previous employer Qantas Airways was. Now we'll see uh, how Qantas recovered from the same situation. Here's the Thai Airways consolidated loans, that's their debt, is uh, around 20 billion baht. There's their loss this year, was 11.6 billion baht. Now we're looking at their share price, how it's tanking, it's gone from around uh, 39 cents down to 9 cents. There's Qantas' situation in comparison six years ago, and uh, look at that graphs, they're, they're like uh, mirror images, they're, they're uh, identical just about. Both in decline, tanking share prices. However, Qantas has recovered. Um, they had a transformation period of uh, major pain for the airline, and you can see the chart there, the current chart, how the share price has uh, recovered back to, well, 300% back to normal. Qantas has made massive profits this year in the order of $600 million. 
Australian dollars. Um, they're having a massive share buyback program for $400 million worth of shares the company's buying back. And they have some uh, $4 billion uh, in the bank. So, you know, let's hope that Thai Airways um, fully recovers and uh, wish them well for the future. So what did you guys think of this video? There's some very interesting subjects in there. It'd be great to get a discussion going in the comments below. And don't forget every Saturday and Sunday night, 5pm Thai time, talk back Thailand. Anyhow, that's it from me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon.